In the last video, I painted the body in the silver color and left it at that. I was still debating whether I would be using the decals that USCP supplied with the trans kit or that I would be painting them on as the decals weren't really 100% correct on the sides and I also didn't really fancy the look of them all that much as the paint has a bit of a different color than the decals do. So in the end, as you can see, I decided on masking it off and painting it myself. Now the measurement of the stripes isn't an exact science as I don't really know the dimensions of the actual stripes so I'm just going by a bit of look and feel and just making sure that it's even on both sides and also in the center of course with these hood stripes. So I put on a small piece of masking tape marked off where the center of the hood was and then placed a new piece on top of it, removed the old piece and I had a perfectly straight line in the middle of the hood. With the center marked, I could move on to adding the stripes themselves, or at least the width, with a 10mm piece of masking tape from Tamiya to determine each side and the width it needed to be, and then could use that as a template for some of the uh, fine line tape that I'm cutting here myself for both sides. After putting the fine line tape alongside that bigger piece of tape in the middle, the stripes were laid out so that middle piece could be removed to reveal the areas that of course are going to be painted blue. The rest of the body was then carefully masked off in the same manner on those lower sections of the bumper and of course a lot of excessive masking has been done to the main body itself in order to not have overspray on that whatsoever. As I've shown in the previous video where I painted the body silver, I'm using the Zero Paint set specifically for this car with the Platinum Silver and also the Pearl Blue as well. Now this Pearl Blue is of course for the stripes, so I'm going to carefully start painting those on. Now the front part of the bumper and the front part of the side stripes has a bit of a silver fade into it, so I'm going to add a little less of the blue, but I'm still adding too much as it covers really quickly and at the end of the video that will be fixed. But for now, I'm just going to build it up with a couple of layers of blue going heavier on the top section of the hood as that needs to be fully covered and just leaving a couple less coats on the front section as that needs to be a bit lighter and that will help with the fade that I will be doing at the end of the video into the silverish. After applying a couple layers of the blue, you can now see that there is a bit of a fade. The front section is a bit lighter than the rear, and that is of course supposed to be, as that's what the actual car looks like. It's not exactly correct yet, as I mentioned, so stay tuned till the end of the video where I will be fixing that. In the meantime, I will be removing the masking tape and moving on to the next section of masking. The two stripes on the front are done so I could move on to the side section of that front bumper. This also has a bit of a curve to it so I put on a piece of masking tape, added a black line where that curve is and then carefully cut it out on the cutting mat and have a perfect template for that shape. The curved section is now perfectly masked off so I could move on to adding all of the stripes.
front section has now been completed so we can move on to the side. I'm going to do this in two pieces. One will be the lower half and then the top half will be done later as it's easier for me to give a visualization on one half of the masking and it's also a lot easier to mask it off as the top section wouldn't be in the way of the lower section of the masking if you follow my drill. If not, then just watch along as we go. On the side of the body there are a couple of low and high spots and also a lot of tension areas for the tape so I want to be sure to get the tape into all of those tight spots and remove the tension. So I'm just using a toothpick to get it into the spots and also using a sharp hobby knife to relieve some of that pressure and just put the tape back into place with a toothpick. The bottom and top of the stripe have now been laid out. The first part of the first stripe has also been laid out, so I could then move on to adding all of the stripes in. I'm measuring all of them carefully one by one, and also checking references that I'm keeping a similar distance and having, of course, the same design as the actual movie car. couple hours of masking have gone by, both sides are now completely masked off and again the rest of the body is masked off too to prevent some of the blue overspray to land on the silver. The rear section needs to be fully covered, the front section doesn't really need to be exactly the same as the front, so I'm just going to add a couple more layers on the rear and fade it out into the front section again, just like I did on the hood. With a couple of paint layers later, I could just carefully start removing all of the masking tape again and then get ready for that second stage. The lower section is unmasked and it looks pretty good so I could move on to that top section. It's pretty much done in the same manner that I did that lower section, just laying down the first stripe carefully on the bottom, then measuring out that top stripe again, getting it into all of those tight curves and small bends, and then moving on to adding the stripes in between to lay it out perfectly. The stripes again after a couple of hours of masking have been done on both sides so I could move on to painting them again. 
doing it exactly the same as I did with the lower half, just giving the rear section of the body a couple more layers and the front a couple less to get that fade going already. final layers of blue have been applied, I let it dry for a couple of minutes and could then carefully start removing all of the masking tape again. So as again I've mentioned at the beginning of the video, the stripes have been uh, faded on a bit at the front section, but the blue covered so extremely well that it was really hard to just do it with the blue straight out of the airbrush. So instead I just painted it on, made sure that the stripes were looking correct, and then now I'm going to be adding a bit of the silver just to fade it out and have it look like the movie car. So I'm just very carefully missing on some of that silver, not pulling the trigger open pretty much any. I'm thinking about 2-3% to of trigger pull just to get a little tiny bit of paint on and have absolute control and not just blast it on and having to start over again of course. So I just kept on looking over the body, adding a bit more here and there until I was satisfied. With that all out of the way, it's time to add the decals in the next video, start applying the clear coat and maybe starting on the interior as well.